The candy corn gobbler is very useful, and now with the new changes, it's way easier to use. But with that change, it might have completely changed the price of candy corns so much that maybe it's not going to be so useful anymore. Let's talk about it. So try to inform on this, and let's get into it. So, what is the candy corn gobbler, first of all? The candy corn gobbler is this item here that you can see, candy corn gobbler blessing, uh, you know, candy corn gobbler, and you will use three uh, candy corns to give you a buff. A buff um, that can be some transformations uh, and also certain, boofs, uh, certain buffs, right? like the experience booster, item booster, camera booster, speed bonus, damage reduction, and health or re rejuvenation. Uh, the, what people really like about this one in particular are the experiment booster and the item booster. And they actually go into uh, PA into War vs. World, for example, to use this item, and that way you can actually target um, this item specifically because you cannot get this tree. And people essentially, you know, buy a lot of candy corn and they uh, used to just sit there and use it uh, for like an hour to stack it for days, right? And then go into Warper's World or whatever content they do and get faster reward tracks, more experience and stuff like this. Because, um, you know, the way it used to work is that you would click it once and then you would get one buff. And then you would have to click it again um, five seconds after to do it over and over again. So you have to like essentially use an auto clicker that would go and click every five seconds, okay, to actually, uh, you know, for it to actually work, right? Um, and that was kind of annoying. Uh, it was kind of annoying. You would have to use an auto clicker. It's like, uh, whatever. But now what you can do instead is now you'll get this little tab here and you'll be able to purchase as many uh, buffs as you want each time you purchase it. You'll get one buff and you can just continuously do it until you have uh, as many buffs as you want, right? The problem is that this made it very, very usable and therefore a lot of people are now interested in using this item and the candy corn, making it so the uh, candy corn is now insanely more expensive. Look at that. This was like, you know, yesterday or whatever and then boom, it went to from 50 copper to 99 copper to 1 silver and 20 uh, copper per candy corn. This means that, you know, it's going to be way more pricey for you to get those uh, buffs. Uh, and this is, well, is it a good change? Well, kind of, because it makes everyone be able to use it, but now it's going to be more, more pricey. It didn't help either that, and we didn't know this until very recently, the candy corn gobbler was actually bugged and it was giving you less candy corn that it actually was supposed to use, uh, to, um, to give you. I mean, it was giving you less buffs. So you would, you know, essentially, I don't know, the numbers are kind of weird. So let's say that you would get like, I don't know, three buffs every, you know, I don't know, 12 purchases. Now it would give you, uh, you know, the same amount of buffs every 20 or whatever, right? So it was way, um, it would cost you way more candy corn to actually give you the same amount of buffs. This meant that the price even went even further uh, above than what it should be because people were like, okay, in order to get the same amount of buff, I'm gonna need way more candy corn. Um, now, of course, this actually went down a little bit uh, and probably because of the, you know, of the fact that it was actually a bug, uh, but now it's going steadily up again uh, and trying to stabilize somewhere. We don't actually know where it's gonna end up with, um, with in uh, in terms of price. We don't know how the demand is gonna be. There might be some, uh, you know, a lot of people buying it because they, you know, want to use it. But there's also a lot of people who bought it because they're essentially expect speculating the fact that the price is gonna be up and up and up and up because there's no actual, um, there's no actual supply of this candy corn because you don't you can only get it in halloween so the amount of candy corn we have right now is the amount of candy corn we're gonna get until halloween so technically the price should be going up steadily until halloween uh regardless of what we do now how much we don't really know personally i bought a lot of them right here uh before it went up an insane amount so i'm kind of i'm kind of fine uh probably not enough for the whole year but i'm probably enough until the prices stabilize a little bit so i'm probably not gonna sell them myself uh but there's a lot of people speculating and you know it's kind of funny we're talking about this in twitch chat it kind of reminds us a little bit of the situation that we got uh, back in 2020 with the whole 
with the whole uh, diamond hands and um, GameStop stocks that people were like, oh my god, we invested so you know we invested so much money into these stocks and we're gonna keep them to the moon. We're gonna make the stocks value so much more than they actually are, so we can get rich or whatever. And then a lot of people ended up losing a lot of go uh, a lot of money uh, because they never sold, right? Uh, you know, that's where the uh, <laughs> where the I mean, this little guy with the diamond hands. Um, uh, meme appeared right uh, so it's actually kind of funny uh, I'm guessing that's the same thing is gonna happen there's gonna be a lot of people trying to speculate that it's gonna keep going up and up and up and they're gonna continuously have the candy corn and never sell it uh, and I guess it's not really that bad because even if you never sell it you are still gonna be able to you know use it for yourself for your candy corn uh, you know for your buffs anyways uh, so I'm not really yeah I'm not really I'm not really that worried uh, for them and not for me either uh, in that ca in in the, for that reason right uh that being said and that being said i wonder what's gonna happen I, i'm not really sure uh how much how f much further it's gonna keep going uh yeah I, i'm not really sure uh definitely don't start buying it right now uh if you didn't buy the candy corn right here uh i would not i would not do it uh like at this point like even if it goes up a little bit, you're not going to make that much of a profit. It doesn't really seem reasonable. Uh, I would just wait uh, until the prices uh, stabilize for you to buy them for your own personal usage. Otherwise, you're going to end up you know, investing in something that honestly will not give you that much profit. And you could use that time, money and energy into something else, into investing in something else in the game. So... Yeah, uh, all of that, I really recommend this item. If you don't have it, definitely get some money uh, for when Halloween comes out and you can actually buy it. Uh, doing any content without this, honestly, is a bit of a waste. Uh, the experience is, well, for me at least, spirit shares are very, very valuable and, uh, not ha and this gives me so much more experience that I would usually get uh, when I play the game in any point with my experience booster. So for me, having this all the time is very, very useful. Uh, it's very, 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 very useful. Uh, so definitely when it comes out definitely buy it from the gem store uh, and if you do have it already uh, wait until the prices are a bit more chill and then use it when you're gonna get a big a big um, gaming session uh, you know especially now that we have War vs. World Rush and you're gonna be probably doing a lot of War vs. World it's honestly not a bad idea to go in there uh, with these buffs and just blast for a few hours to get a lot of uh, reward tracks uh, very fast and very easily but that being said that's all there is to it guys uh thank you very much for watching guys uh subscribe down for more content of this tell me if i got anything wrong or i did if i missed anything um uh, go to my patreon if you want to support me uh go to my twitch tv slash dance with us if you want to watch me live we're probably gonna do some warp as well tomorrow i think in the morning or something uh definitely join our discord and our dwarf world server as well to play with us and uh thank you very much for watching guys see you guys around love you all uh bye, -bye.